Hey guys, Master N342, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we finished Mumbo's Mountain. Next level is Treasure Trove Cove. Can't imagine what that theme's gonna be. Anyway, this is what I was gonna show you guys. We're back in this room, uh, where we made the Treasure Trove Cove. Wait, bad angle. Crappy angle. Uh, Treasure Trove Cove over there. That's where we made the puzzle. So, let's go show you this guy. He's a warp cauldron. Uh, you've activated a magic cauldron, find two the same color to create a shortcut. So yeah, pretty much, that's all you need. Uh, 69. LOL. So it uh, lets you travel between two points. Shall we continue on? Not much to say, really. Here you go. The most controversial room in the game. We'll get to it later, though. Alright, here it is. Let's go. Oh, hi there. This would be Treasure Show Co. There would be two new moves for you to find. I'm going to show you the scariest part of this entire game. Oh, oh. No, it's not you. This level scared me as a child so badly. You'll see why. Yeah, Jaws. And because the swimming controls on this are terrible. And they're realistic, but they're terrible. This shark stalks you. And you have to do it just to get this Jinjo. Which I asked if it was worth it, but it really is in the end. I just lost half my life trying to get it, but that's fine by me. Time to fight our first actual boss of the game. Nipper. This is, this is Nipper's beat. You find nothing without Nipper's help. I doubt that. Ch I'm cheeky, really. He's the one that looks like Special Life from Frank Hangers. Alright, what you wanna do is you gotta love Sniff. Then jump in. Peck him in the eyes. And then wash, rinse, repeat. The third time's the hardest because he's really fast. And then you kill him. I mean, he comes, he spawns back every time, but he doesn't give you the reward every time. Which is pretty interesting because the shell's not this big from the outside. And random hover and jiggy. Get some eggs. Flip. It's interesting because after you kill him, he doesn't disintegrate, but he's not anywhere in here. I just found that always interesting. Like, where'd he go? Like, where the hell did he go? I'm gonna get this done in. Should I get this part done in over with? I'm going to. Because I'm gonna hate myself for not doing it later. Please. I'm only at full health, but I'll have to do it. Alright, get this. Two in every level. Swim your little bird off. Air's not really a problem because it's not deep water. It's just the fact that this little pedophile over here is trying to get you at every single moment you get in the water. I mean, obviously not like this water because it's too shallow, but he'll, he's in most water. Uh, let's see, where are the two moves? Oh, I remember. I've played through this game one too many times. I've spent entire nights beating the game on one run without having to pause. Not necessarily worth it, but... Just such a fun game. 
pretty soon uh, my friend and I will be co-op playing Minecraft. Yeah, computer nerve uploading Banjo-Kazooie videos. Never thought he'd play Minecraft. But yep. I forgot these guys climb. Always remind me of slimes for some reason from Minecraft. Here it is. Shut up. I found you. <laughs> My legs are tired. Yeah, make the woman do it. Yeah, what kind of bird she is, I think they call it a breagle, which I don't think is a real bird. It's between like a something and a seagull. Oh, yeah, if you talk to the, if you talk to bottles and you're uh, low on life, he'll fill it back up. Just hold A while you're on the pad, and you can grab stuff. I think what's for this one? I think it's nothing. It's, it's just it's the next one. You can do that with it too to increase your distance. Come here, little pink pedophile. Yay, that's one of the five pedophiles. Yeah. The real enemy in this game for you? The camera. I'll probably get one more jiggy after this one and uh, call it a video. Too easy? I think so. Alright, let's see. Now I need the next move before I can get that one, so... I think I'll get one of the more annoying ones out of the way. It's easy, but annoying. Salty Hippo. I'd rather not. Let me just get this. All these feathers. I don't see the camera. You can't see anything. Talk to... Well, first, go up here. Get your green, Jinjo. Because everybody loves the green pedophile. 7.5 minutes? Okay. Finally, the bird knows how to fly. It gives you 25 feathers to work with. You are on all of those new moves. Really, you said there's two. I got the shock spring and that one. That must equal five. We find, uh, Gloria the Hippo from Madagascar sulking. Let's see who, what's going on with her. Or him, whatever it is. I can't get off the pole. That's what she said. Oh boy, there, I'm Captain Blubber and I lost my treasure. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Just his voice. You're a hippo that can't swim. What the hell? I thought hippos can swim every time I went to the zoo. Anyway, you gotta find uh, his two two stacks of gold. Grunt. Here's your first one. Oh yeah, all my videos are live recordings. I don't do any post com uh, post commentaries. I'm Amish. I don't believe in those things. JK. Okay, there you go. Get some air. Which again, the funny part is, is um, this ship is stuck in the sand yet it's filled with water. Like it's water on this side and then water on the other side, but the ship's filled with sand. Never mind.
So I, I give him two pieces of gold, he gives me one. What? I guess I'll end the video here. Bye guys.